So today we're going to look at the transformer nameplate and in particular what we're going to focus on is the high voltage rating of that transformer nameplate right here. Let's first look at the, the lower number of the two, the 12,000 volts. This 12,000 volts is an important number. The lower number is what the primary coil of the transformer is rated for. So the insulation on that primary coil can handle 12,000 volts. If you go above 12,000 volts, then it's going to burn up that transformer. And if you go below, you're not going to get the right secondary voltage. So the 12,000 volts is what the primary coil is rated for. Now the second number is our system voltage, that 20,800 volts, which when you think of system voltage, think of a phase-to-phase -phase connection. And if you notice, there's a, the letter Y right after the 20,800 volts. So what that letter Y, what it indicates, that if you hooked up this transformer to a 20,800 volt system, um, it should be connected as a Y connection or a phase-to-ground connection. And this makes sense because it would give you 12,000 volts on a, on a grounded Y system if the system voltage was 20,800 volts. So that's what that Y indicates. So let's look over at the right and we've got um, two different connections over here. The first one is connected, the transformer is connected as a phase to phase connection. Right here. So we go one bushing goes up to a phase and the other bushing goes up to a different phase. Well, if it's hooked up as a phase-to-phase -phase connection, then the system voltage needs to be 12,000 volts. Because once again, remember, the transformer is only rated for 12,000 volts. So if you've got a system voltage of 12,000 volts, then hook this transformer up phase-to-phase -phase, and you'll get your right voltage. Now the connection on the right over here, let's change your colors back. This connection is hooked up as a phase to ground connection. If you look right here, the one bushing goes up to a phase and then your other bushing goes down to ground. So the phase to ground connection needs to be 12,000 volts. Because once again, remember that's what our transformer is rated for. And remember, if it's a phase to ground connection of 12,000 volts, then you're going to have a phase to phase or a system voltage of 20,800 volts. And remember, you've got this letter Y right here, which indicates if you have a system voltage of 20,800 volts, then you need to hook up this transformer as a grounded Y to get that 12,000 volts. So that's it for this, uh, this type of nameplate on the transformer. Um, it's a really versatile transformer because you can use it for both types of connections, either a phase-to-phase -phase or a phase-to-ground connection.